it's an honor to be a part of Turn the Page, uh, this exhibition at Virginia Mocha. And the reason to paint on these walls, really, is it's the only way to do work on this scale. And it's to create something that can really overwhelm the viewer and, and create a sense of awe. Just using a brush and paint, go in and just sort of improvise all of these shapes and it's kind of a biomorphic abstraction, kind of psychedelic uh, underground comics, all of these sort of influences coming in. It ended up being sort of a mandala type of image, sort of a kaleidoscopic manipulation within which to just improvise using my black sort of cartoonish uh, line work. There was a painting I was working on recently based on the Mad Hatter image from Disney's Alice Wonderland. Once I decided to use that for the floor, everything else kind of grew out of that. So the walls surrounding the piece are based on that composition. And the crosswalk was another thing that was kind of came in a little bit later as just a, an additional piece that might be a little bit more permanent. It's a lot of time and effort to put into something that ultimately is temporary, but that's part of the nature of doing these site-specific installations and painting on these walls. It's to create an experience that maybe takes people out of their general expectations of what they might find in a museum. So it's kind of like performance in that way. And it's to create something that you have to experience in person it's really not the same in photos. I've always wanted people to, do, to walk into my installations and just go, wow, this is, you know, this is amazing.